We had some breaking news this morning, and history has been made for American soccer. The United States Soccer Federation agreed to a new collective bargaining agreement with its players. And for the first time in history, the men's team and the women's team will now be paid equally. The United States is the first country in the world to do this, and here are the details. The new CBA runs through 2028 and covers the next four World Cups. Each player will earn about $18,000 to $24,000 per game that they win. That makes the men's and women's U.S. teams two of the highest paid teams in the world. And players should expect to earn about $450,000 annually, and those salaries could double if they are successful in the World Cup. But in another first, both teams will now split 90% of the money U.S. soccer receives from FIFA for participating in the World Cup, which could total more than $20 million as soon as next year. But there's also a new revenue sharing agreement that's been implemented, where each team's top players will receive a portion of commercial revenue, tens of millions of dollars, from U.S. sponsors, broadcasters, and other partners. On a macro level, this is obviously a massive moment for American soccer. But on a micro level, it also has huge business implications for the future of U.S. soccer as well. First, this new CBA ends a six-year dispute between the U.S. Soccer Federation and the women's national team. That's all the top players get settlements from the organization due to gender discrimination and lower pay. But also, there's a sponsorship side to this, which I also think is fascinating. For example, in 2019, U.S. soccer sponsor Secret Deodorant publicly supported the women's team with a $529,000 donation to the Women's National Team's Players Association and pushed the federation to be on the right side of history. And other past sponsors like Visa and Lunabar ran equal pay-related campaigns for U.S. women's soccer. But with this new collective bargaining agreement being signed between the players and the U.S. Soccer Federation, it's now aligned their incentives, and the three groups can work together to go find and sign larger sponsorship deals. And if one person wins, now they all win. 